Yorkshire for Wednesday Night Mayhem. No, your eyes do not deceive you. The Wildcard Tommy Dillon, the greatest commentator in all of UKW history, is back at the table with the former showdown around the clock champion, but still general manager, Red Brocco. Good evening. Thank you for having How me. Doing? Bob by yeah. choice, where's Brett? Why don't we just get straight down to business, eh? I think he did, yeah. 
I'm, I'm, pre I'm pretty certain he did. Okay, I think I'm just I'm screaming just for a ref. Oh, oh well, hang on. I haven't even started yet, boys. No, ref needs to call for the belt. And ladies and gentlemen, here's our first oh, match oh, here on Mayhem. But we've already got a wicked sheik. Yeah, and I'm, now I can finally hear myself think, because I couldn't hear myself over these. Oh, it would have been noisy just did so you, did I you thought you were noisy. Word but, of that? You know, I, yeah, I got most of it, like, yeah. Tyler Tarantino yeah, talking about how his movies appeal to the intellectuals in Milan. I don't think he's been to Milan recently, oh, but. I, I don't know, he might have been. I don't know, he, but, where he might have been, but. He's choking out the sensor shape of tomb right now, so. Probably the only guy who can actually wrestle a match wearing a trench coat. Yeah, I don't know how he's going to cope with that, to be fair. I think it'd be better taking that off. But well, this, anyway. is, this is the thing, you know, I've got my history with members of the firing squad, Damien Black and JPR. I'm not sure that Shane Mutum has thought this through, because if they pick Tyler Tarantino, then he must have something that they want. Yeah, well, I haven't found it myself yet, except with a voice. It's a good mouthpiece, isn't it? you know what I mean? Well, yeah, I did like him at first, you know, but since he's, since he's, he's changed his allegiance oh, to these Brocco, guys... Brocco, 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 you've been in this business long enough to know you can't trust anybody. A long time. Yeah, you should be able to trust certain people, you know. Allegiance is changing this business, but not too might be ready to tap out. Get that goal ready. I don't think he's going to tap out. Well, he's well, made a stronger stuff than that. He's, I don't think Shaky Mini is running well tonight. He's, he's nearly on that rope. Oh, he kick, did he kick him off there? Did Tyler, I think he just, did Tyler consider a different uh, idea? So, Cheeky's big boot there. Right? And a nice close well, line. I may have spoken too soon. It looks like Cheeky Mania is running wild. Yeah, well, oh, no, you're sorry. And it's, no, I've heard him apologise to his opponents quite a few times, you know. Gets himself into trouble. Oh, oh, that would have been well, Cheeky. It? You fell for the oldest trick in the book, man. The referee hasn't seen it, obviously. Of course the ref hasn't seen it. Tyler planned that perfectly. Dropping him flat on his face there. This could be it, I think. Yeah. Yeah, of course, that's it. Of course. Only one thing left to say. There is no winner. The director. I love Tarantino. But so many she can score. That is a bit chilly in here, like. Yeah. Why can't people try and get through a match without cheating? Don't tell Sorry. me about it. Sorry, I manage so it. Slips. I why, manage why, it. Why, why is this? Hey, I manage it. Well, you manage it. All right. I won the, I won the hardcore title without cheating. Sure is out on that I've beaten Joe Sedgwick without cheating. I've beaten Kim and Carlisle without cheating. You know what? I can sit here all day, but it's not about me. It's about this. Shane Mokjoon picked a fight that he couldn't win. Well, they couldn't win tonight. They didn't win tonight. But that's not to say... This is not the end of it. There you go. I'm going to go back for you. How's that? That's you might want to get some ice first. Off. That's all I can say. You might maybe, want to get maybe, some ice. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, be a bit sore tomorrow. But you know that's what? Sure. Yeah, I mean, that was one hell of a way to start Wednesday Night Mayhem this week. As ever. Yeah. 
He was invited out as a guest on Arabian Nights, but Tyler Tarantino got stepped in that ring with Shake Muck Tomb and beat him. Whether we like it or not, no matter how he did it, he beat him. He beat him, but I still don't like the way he beat him. No, you, don't, you don't like the way, but as I said, the history books will always say Tyler Tarantino defeated Shake Muck Tomb. Who is what? A 15-time around the clock champion? Oh, he is. No, you were around the clock champion until recently. Yeah, all right. I know. But we've got so much more coming ahead here on Wednesday Night Mayhem. Walk out Tommy Dillon and Red Rocker here bringing you all the action this Wednesday night. We've got a big fail four-way coming up. We've got an eliminator match. We've got big news coming your way. And I'll tell you one thing, Rocker, you might not like me, but I'm so happy to be here this week. Tommy, I've never said I don't like you. I don't like the way you work sometimes. Don't mean I don't like you. Well, you'll see it again soon, as we will see you in just a moment. Well, Brocco, all I can say is <laughs> what we just saw there, it doesn't do it justice. I've been inside that cage. I know how harrowing it's it can be. It's some impressive thing, isn't it, when it's up that cage? It is. I you mean, know what I'll say? I'm not going to admit it. It is scary. Once you're in there, you are trapped. You've nowhere to go, have you? That's yeah. it. You're in there and that's yeah. it. You're, and you're everything stuck. that happens in there, 100% legal. And we will be discussing that more later on. But what have we got coming up? You excited about this? Of course. Get even more right, excited. Yeah. Come on then, get him in. Because the greatest uh, announcer in the world is back. Brett's here. Where's, where's Brett? Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is a Pickle Forward match scheduled for one ball. Introducing first.
and the final opponent. Ah. And let's not forget, all four of these men will be involved in the championship, the tag team championship four corners match this Friday. They will. That should be some match as well. Eh? Level up, the Empire, NRG, and Breaking Bones Studios. Oh, this might be over already. Good lad, Brett. Oh. And that, I think that would have been the first pinfall that Johan Hunter suffered in a long time. Not a long time, to be fair, I beat him a few weeks ago, but we well, keep forgetting to mention that, don't we? Yeah, we do. Yeah, but the thing is, 150 days as world television yes. champion. Whoa! Wow. You know what? Slow down. I'm not happy with how Brett Sedgwick Cliffs. beat me a few weeks ago. Or last week, I should say. But uh, it never fails to impress me. He's always thinking, he's always innovating. He never stops, he's the right bundle of energy, isn't he? Look yeah. at that. And, uh, but here he is, Cliffside. So Cliff's got oh, a little Cliff's bit going more. For the number, number tres, numero tres. Oh, and he's... Oh, Brett. Stay down, man. Brett will never stay down. Oh. 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 Mo just oh, got Mo's knocked just down. Gone down. <laughs> so that's one person taking out the equation. Johan, you see him lightning weight. Yeah, Johan's just uh, waiting. He's, um, Cliff wants waiting to be careful. For the right time for himself, and I think. Yeah. Cliff wants to be careful gobbing off right now. He wants to get that win. Whoa. <laughs> Brett just got dropped on his neck three times. Look at the fight left in him. But it's going to get knocked out of him by Breaking Bone Studios' Cliff Harrison. Uh, no, no well, uh, oh, Whoa. I think Brett uh, missed that. Just a touch. Oh! Cliff did that, didn't he? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Well, that could have been over there. Oh, might be over now. That would, that would have been impressive if Morgan got the win right there, but it's, uh, what, 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 did you see that power bomb the way Cliff dropped him? <laughs> he may be their favourite, but is he the winner tonight? See that? I, I felt that. Never mind. See that. Oh, Cliff's gonna, oh, Cliff's, double Cliff's gonna be paying for this tomorrow. And I know how much that hurts. I've been in there with momentum. He is one yeah, tough too. dude. He is. He's, he's a good guy. Right? He's a good wrestler. Isn't it? That's it. But you know what? I've wrestled all four of these men. I know how tough all of them are. And I think I know who's gonna win this match. Yeah. I'll tell you later. Oh, uh, yeah, that's so good. Is it? He's gonna tell me after event. I'll tell you if I was right. Well, you're not going to be wrong, are you? Yeah, but as I told you, my money was on Mo the whole time. You know, Mo could never win this, even if he tried. Where is Brett, by the way? I didn't see him Brett anywhere. Sedgwick has been taken out by that power bomb. I know, but I haven't seen have, him you, since. have you seen him since? I can't, I can't see him at the moment, ringside. Look at Johan Hunter. Wait. 
waiting in the wings, like a wolf ready to strike. He's getting ready, he's coming. Oh, oh takes them both out. Springboard elbows, taking them both out. He'll be over right here. But no, hey, on, never want to go. Oh, referee, very slow. Johan had this one right there. Oh, I don't know about that. World television champion for a reason. Well, he is, yeah. And I'll tell you one thing, he does not need Chris Castle to win this match. He can do it all on his own. I'm not convinced with that. I think he does need Chris. Well, we'll soon find out, won't we? We will, Tommy. Right now, Indeed, we will. I mean, we know how dexterous momentum is, but good God, does, is he that dexterous that he can survive being bent backwards like that? Uh. Oh. Yeah, and this is he's very clever. He he's is very suffering. clever by Johan. He's, uh, well, Johan is a clever wrestler. Yeah, he's picked a body part and he's attacking it. And he, he goes for it, he sticks yeah. with it. And Which means Mo's having to put all that energy into his other arm. Or, no, that was the same arm, I mean. He's putting all his energy into that arm, which is uh, depleting it because he's already injured. Oh, and now, and now he's chopping him down. Yeah, you can't jump high or fly high or pick up any momentum if you cannot walk. Johan Hunt is fully in control. But he can't stay in control because momentum will not give up. Paul, Paul, never give up. But you know what? Mo needs to give up because he's against the world of the television champion. He is, but that just ain't going to phase him, is it? I think I would have gone for a pin right there. I'm not sure if I agree with uh, Johan. Probably oh. Johan likes to make people suffer, doesn't he? Yeah. Oh, but what? Oh, but Johan needs on. to keep an eye out. Oh, and you see, eyes in the back of his head. When there's four people in the match, you've got to have eyes in the back of your head, exactly. haven't you? Exactly. Like I say, he's a world, sorry, world television champion for a reason. Brett is just trapped up there. He's uh, easy pickings right now. But he's willing to fight back. He can't hold it. Brett, Brett will always fight back. Yeah. Well, that's that Cedric DNA, isn't it? it certainly is. Well, out. Oh, we've no, no, got a little team up going on here. Double team in him. Type of got one. The break, enemy of my enemy is my bro. We'll be right back. And we are back. We're going right up in there. We're about to take it down. Oh, wait a minute. Momentum's got this. We got a tower of two take hands. Them all. Here we go. Oh, my God. Oh. Tower of doom. And well, I'm not sure. I think sure we're all that... suffering from that one. I don't know. Yeah. I think Momentum used his last bit of energy to get that. And now they're all down. Mo's crawling, but he's trying to clip, but Cliff's on his front. Can you get him over? He's got him turned over. Will he get him? No. He's going to have a gun over it. Yo, man. Will they have any more luck with Brett? Brett's still showing that tenacity of a tag team champion right there. Well, he's not a champion for now, is he? Yeah. No, but he doesn't have his uh, backup today. He doesn't have Casey Riley. But same can be said about all four of these men. No, none of them's got their uh, tag partners out of the with them today. Oh. So. Oh. Wow. And now Johan's the only one standing him. in the ring. No, no, no. Johan's the only one standing in the ring and he's... What's on his mind? Oh, he's targeting it. That's oh my God, mind. is he going? Oh my God! Wow. Johan Hunt sacrificing his body like a true champion. Or along the tick, whichever a man possessed. Yeah, but he's back he up. He's back up. Look at him. Well, he had a good the man is unstoppable. Calls himself invincible, and I believe him right now. But out, out. Wait a minute. What's Brett doing up there? Keep your eyes on up. Oh, oh God! He takes them all out. Is Brett insane? Taking a shot like that? Hey, he's a tag team champion. He can't take risks like that. The screen, they're all on the floor still. It counts firmly behind Brett at the moment. Well, I would say so. But that, honestly, that was crazy. Oh. Whoa! Oh. Fancy moves Great there from Momentum. Oh. And he's up. Oh, the 
this could be over right here. But no, oh, was that a stomp? Did he stomp him? I don't know if he got all of that, but momentum seems to have enough sense to get out the ring. Oh, yeah, yeah you can't it's get pinned on the outside. This is one fall to a finish, but it is not. False count anywhere. I think Cliff just saved him there by dragging him out. <laughs> yeah, if you want to call it that. <laughs> saved his, <laughs> saved the victory. Save oh, here we go. Empire and Breaking Bones. I've been waiting all day for this. Maybe this is why he saved him. Oh. Go, go on, Johan. Go on, Cliff. Oh, and here we go, Maria. The most beautiful movie you'll ever see. Oh, he dropped him. World, right, check, world Television Champion is down. Cliff Harrison has got this. Oh, but he just took nice two drop feet kick off Brett. straight to the face. And we know where Brett, Brett's going Brett's now. Going upstairs, look, this is it. He's I think going it's up. Oh, I felt that. It hurts. And this is not going to end right here because Cliff Harrison is right there. Oh, and it's going to get all that much oh, He's got it. I told you Cliff Harrison was going to win. I just knew it. Here's your winner, Well, that was an amazing match. Absolutely. Friday night's match is going to be somewhere else. You're right. Friday night's match is going to be worse than this because there will be four more guys involved. And that title, that very title, that Club Harrison has in his hand right now, will be on the line. And I think all teams are hungry for this. And what's Cliff trying to do? Cliff giving us a glimpse of Friday right there. We'll break in both studios at the same victory and we'll walk out with the gold. Sebastian Mercer is sat at home right now, licking his chops and rubbing his hands because he can feel that gold coming. I'm sure he's already getting geared up to give Cliff a ring now and congratulate him on that. Cliff Harrison's showing up, getting ready to take the goal. He's taking it with him now. He's taking it with him right now. Not only is he prepared to be a champion, he's prepared for big time. He he's going to go see if that fits. Got Brett down there feeling dejected. Because, uh, yeah, as we saw, it was his frog splash that ended this match. It was oh, Cliff Harrison that got the pin. And that, in the end, is all that matters in a fatal four yeah, way. Who so gets the pin? End of it, isn't it? Well, Brett's up on his feet. We've still got two down here. Oh no, we've just got more down. Your hand looks angry. Where's Brett going? Hi. Right. Your hand always looks angry. Oh, the squaring up. We all know that Johan has a history with uh, Brett's uh, older brother Joe, but this could get personal between the Empire and LBL. You shut your mouth, I think he's talking to you. Oh no, it must have been you. He can't shut me up. I'm the Wildcat Tommy Dillon. He can't shut me up. That's his boss. Sort of. Have a look at this. Someone get me a vomit bag. Brett Cedric and Momentum. Acting like friends, but they won't be friends come Friday night. No, they won't, but two sportsmen pair of them, aren't they? It is going to be one hell of a Four Corners match. Friday night showdown. Friday night showdown, 100. Yeah. That's going to be a special yeah. episode. Is Shake hands now, night. boys, because you're going to hit each other come Friday. Wow. I mean, you can't ask for Wednesday night near him, that was what just a match, crazy. That what a match. Ernest, folks, there's nothing that I need to do to prepare for you in this match tonight because you're the new guy on the block. You're the new, new guy on Mayhem. You, you don't impress 
anyone apart from maybe Brett Hadley on commentary, but he's impressed by anything, isn't he, really? So all I'm wanting to say to you, Boggs, is tonight you better be prepared to be laid out in the middle of the ring with me stood over you holding this ATC belt. You know what? I may have had issues with that guy costing me the match last week, but you know what? I like his attitude. He's, just, he's bringing the fight tonight. I like his style of wrestling, yeah. you know? He's, he's, you can't knock him. Yeah, but we know where the fight is going, don't we? On October 28th. Yes. Right? We have got it. Howard Ground, Nowhere to Run 2023. Brocco, I mean, what have we got coming? What have we got coming? Well, World Heavyweight we, Championship. We've got some night. World Heavyweight Championship. <laughs> Two men that know each other very well. Damien Black, the champion, versus Ian Creed, the dream ticket holder. Yeah. yeah and going back into the match that they made famous, the Madhouse match. The last time... I love this. Last time, it and was chains. a ring surrounded by chains. This time, it's a ring surrounded by a steel cage. With a twist. twist. Yeah, with a twist. Yeah, Can you so imagine? What that twist is, is going to be a nightmare in neon, as far as Ian Creed goes. Whatever Ian Creed does, isn't it, really? Exactly, yes. But also, the man <clears throat> that we just saw, Johan Hunt, will defend the World Television Championship in a gauntlet match. He will. This is a man who has fought everybody. 150 days. 150 plus days as world heavy a world television champion. I keep saying heavyweight. World television champion. Now he is facing not only former teammate, Leonie Rose, who desperately wants that title as well as Jonathan's head, but also and former good. television champion, the man mountain. Hey. Hey. Night right. I've heard your challenge, son, and I'm gonna say this. I don't care if I'm the new guy or what, no. I've taken on some of your finest talents at UKW. So if you think that ATC belt's safe, that all-around-the-clock champion is going to change hands. And it's going to be coming out roses. Yorkshire roses. Sit in, Bill. I must say, I don't like being interrupted. Especially by Ernest Boggs. Where were we? Johan Hunt defending against Leonie Rose and Andrew Jepson and two people still to be named. Two more to is it be you? named, yeah. Is it you? Two more to be named, Is yeah. it you? Come on, two more be to honest. be named, yeah. Okay, also, Hardcore Championship. Right, the man himself. Hardcore Champion CEO, Jonathan Sedgwick defending against former Hardcore Champion, the loudest man in all of the firing squad, JPR. JPR. Right? Where's your money on that one? <laughs> uh, as long as it's Hardcore in the waistline. <laughs> Right, well, let's get on to the next match. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is the man around the clock championship eliminator match. And it is scheduled for one ball. One ball. It is the first. Oh! <laughs> 
eliminator match. And the rules of this match, as we know, Ernest Boggs, he wins this. He's getting a future shot at he the is. Around the Clock Championship. Yeah, that's all he's got to do. Yeah, we, uh, yeah, but you can never count out Evan Knight. He's over 100 plus days as uh, Around the Clock champion. He's earned this. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's earned the respect that some people don't seem to want to give him. And there we are. Uh, see now. Uh, Heaven Knight, have a confidence. See, Heaven Knight needs to get on with John instead of just chatting away. You know, one day I'll give Ernest Boggs, you know, he had a bit, a bit of a hard start to his career here in UKW. Lost to both Case and Riley and Brett Sedgwick. But he's kept fighting, I've got to give him that. And now he's earned this shot. The shot at a chance at the around the clock champion. Whoa, there on. you go. Yeah, Evan, that's why you might not want to talk too much. This guy isn't much of a talker, he's more of a doer. He, he, yeah, just get on with the job, you know. And that, that's, that's what is needed, really, isn't it? You know, they're not here to see him tell Pong. Bit of wrestling for you, look. Yeah, Evan Knight can wrestle, come on. Hey, I'm not, I'm not saying he can't. I'm telling you, he's, he is a good wrestler. I just, just once cut, again, I don't like his tactics just sometimes. Just because he cost me that tag match last week doesn't mean he can't wrestle. He cost you that tag match. That focus on the match, Brocco. Come just on. Saying, saying. This is all business. We have a night with full control right now. Oh, hang on. Spoke too soon. Um, I still got control. Oh! He has. Oh, come on, Evan. You can't, be, you can't fall down that easy. Oh, snap suplex. Oh. No, this can't be over. Oh, no. no. You're not going to beat Evan Knight that quick. He hasn't managed over 100 days as a round the clock champion for, by just getting taken down that easy. Oh. Right in the jaw. I think, just, I think he just kicked his spine straight through his chest. <laughs> but one count, so Boggs does that. I was going to say Boggs does still have it in him, probably not now. He might, he might not have as much. I think he just got his soul kicked out of him. Do you think? Uh, Evan, Evan, seriously. Just I like your, I like your attitude. I like your attitude, but seriously, you can't afford to let this guy... You would like his him. attitude, wouldn't you? Of course I like his attitude, he's a winner. I've watched this guy from the beginning. so When I was up on this desk, on Genesis Ignite, Wednesday Genesis Ignite, the old days, I watched this kid grow. Back in there. And I watched him fly as well. That guy can get some air time. And check out YouTube sometime because he is very popular. Oh yeah, he's definitely a... Say that. He's very popular among the internet wrestling community. This is a crowd for Bonks. He's a popular lad, he's not been here long. They love him. Yeah, he's certainly caught them. But you know, you come out wearing a flat cap and a cup of tea, but you're bound to catch someone's eye. I don't think you were wearing a cup of tea. Just carry a cup of tea. Yeah, but you're wearing, flat wearing cap. it if he ever gets near me. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. You ain't going to be lifting anyone with a bad arm. Oh, that's true enough. Yeah, have a night. He knows what he's doing in that ring. He's young, he's brash, he's arrogant, but you know what? It's got him there. He's got him right to that title, and he has held it for over yeah, hundred days. He's on to it. Well, that could change. It that could, could change. but it I don't see it changing tonight. I don't see anything changing tonight. Oh, it's not going to change nice. tonight, is it? He's not Evan Knight nice is tonight. taking this match tonight, and then his boss can go back to fighting his way back up. I think he might surprise us. Oh, surprise you. I'm a hard guy to surprise. Uh, I can imagine. Oh, 
Oh, oh right. right. His bonds. Oh, God. Whatever brains he had just got knocked down just, into just, his throat. Yeah. Still working that arm. Of course, you pick a target, you destroy it. And I've just, just I don't noticed think there's much feeling left in that one. Yeah, Boggs has got some kind of like covering on that arm. I think he may have suffered an injury recently. Quite possible, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it is. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah, so, uh, yeah. strapped up. Well it? done, well done to Evan Knight. No, it's in that. Taking that and that. taking advantage. But look, Boggs is using that bad arm to throw the punches, so he's not got as much momentum behind him as he would have normally. As Evan saw it and he took it out. Well, down tight again, the willing him on. They want him to do it. People here want him to do it. Oh, oh, see oh hang on. Here we go, this is it. Oh. He wasn't ready for that, was he? That shocked him. Oh! oh. Spend too much boat. time talking, Boggs. And Evan Knight puts you down with one swift kick. It's quite handy with them legs, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Those are long legs, those are strong legs, and they can swing around it, around your head, around your stomach, around your legs. He can hit any target. Yeah, he don't miss, does he? Very often. This is a guy who has beat. Straight on that arm, on that This is a guy who has beat former world champions with those feet. He beat Jero Lewis at WrestleBration with those feet. He did. And Jero's, you know, no pushover. Of course, he is a former world champion. Jero's had most at championships. I say he's a Grand Slam winner. Oh, he's caught him. Oh. Expecting that, though. No yeah. way. Oh, hang on. Oh. Yeah. That's the thing, Boggs gets up and Evan takes him down, it's over. Oh, it's about too soon. But you know what, I'm not, si I'm not seeing Evan letting Boggs get any kind of momentum in this match. He's going to just destroy him. He's, he's keeping that, on top of him, but that, that could have done it. Yeah, he's, uh, did you see that bounce from Boggs there? He's just broke the fall with his head. Well, you know what? I should have seen that coming. Boggs doesn't have any brain cells to break, but now he does have an arm to break. And it's the arm that Evan has been working on all this time. Is, is he going to... Wait a minute, what's going on here? Whatever strength they had in the arm, he just used it. Oh, now he seems to got some kind of adrenaline rush. Oh, what a drop kick. That was right between the eyes. Took him clean off his feet. Evan, you might want to make sure that your nose is still on the same side. Oh, hang on. This gimmick infringement. Suplex. You do not see that very often. The bombs just use it to his advantage. Oh. Already, but I'm alone. I said, I held my breath. I thought it was over. That, right I there. thought that was gone. gone, gone. Come Give on, Evan. Seat. Evan's suffering now. They chatting, Evan. No, I don't not. think you shouted, Evan. I think you shouted, hey, up. Oh, right. God, it's another one. <laughs> what are you saying? Oh. Oh, yeah, I didn't see that Sucking coming. Did, bad, you? did you miss the Yorkshire wild card? And I said that in quotes. Yeah, I noticed that we emphasized oh, that wild down. card. But... It is over. Oh. Very smart by Evan there. A false sense of security with that half Boston crab. I was just pulling on the arm. Uh. Hey, ref, watch those close fists. Well, that could have been over a couple of times, huh? No, I think I think he I think he had close fists there. Well, wow. look at I man, look at Evan. He's clearly been punched in the head with a close fist. You can tell that from here. Of course I can. Look, he doesn't have the same. Oh, Whoa. oh missed him twice. Oh. Oh. Both of them with the same idea. We got slow boy. Oh my god! I do 
cannot believe I'm saying this. You know. I said, and this box just defeated the around the block champion. Now he's guaranteed a future title shot. It looks like he's got something to say. Yes, we know some of it. You want to listen? Uh, yeah, undefeated, undeniable, eh? There's one thing standing on when you can't watch them. Power ground in a cell. Who is Surprised him on it tonight. Uh, I thought he was going to say something as well, then. What a way to end tonight. What a match. Yeah, well, what a, what a what show what it's a been. Show, yeah. I mean, yeah, we had, the, good, we had that bang, personal, bang, yeah. we had a personal scrap to begin with. We had that epic fatal fall way, and we've just seen a new number one contender for the mayhem around the world championship set right there, and the match set for Hallow Ground inside two tons of steel. We'll be right up on the 28th. Wow! Can't Hallowed wait. Hallow Ground is wait. just fixing to be absolutely epic. But do you know what else is epic? This Friday night. The 100th episode of Friday Night Showdown. You do not want to miss that. Are you going to be there? I'm not actually. You're not? No. Oh. Well, I will be. Unfortunately. I'm taking on, I'm taking on Kim and Carlisle. And we have got title matches, four corners for the Tag Team Championships. We've got a Battle Royal. And we have got a setup for the World Television Championship Gauntlet. Ladies and gentlemen, Thank you for, for being with us tonight. Brocco, do you have yeah. anything left to say? Yeah, thanks for joining us and we'll uh, see you Friday. From the Wildcat Tommy Dillon, from the former Showdown Around the Clock champion and GM, we will see you this Friday. Good night, guys. Thank you. <laughs>